Okay, today I have a MacBook Air 2017 and the project for today is to replace the SSD, the hard drive. When I purchased this, uh, it came with a 128 gigabytes hard drive. And what I am trying to install today is the one for 512 gigabytes. And the first steps we're gonna take is take off all the screws and I didn't have the tools for uh, take this off and remove it. And one of the things I would like to mention is uh, this one has three years of warranty, 512 gigabytes, and the brand is Data RAM. You can find it in Amazon for $100, which is not a bad price. And in this, it is, it is a good deal because it has three years of warranty. So, that way uh, when I start this project I decided to buy a toolkit with a pentalop screwdriver uh, these are hard to find so that's why I had to order it online but it's also uh, it was a good deal I only pay around eight dollars for it and you can see right there in the in the bag that it has a description all it comes with it so it is enough tools to do the project and i hope you find this uh, video useful if you're planning to do this project and i can complain they are good quality and you can see these uh these tools are for uh, unplug ribbons cables and you know they are pretty good quality and I have this USB bootable uh, with El Capitan just in case um, the reinstallation goes in another direction. But I hope this, this new computer has the ability to reinstall the software through the internet as you're gonna see later on this video. So I will proceed to take the bottom cover off. And after I do that, and I have to put the video aside and I will show you the next segment. Once you remove the cover, you will be able to see the SSD drive. And this is the one 128 gigabytes. The one I will proceed to remove. And you see that screw right there? That's the only screw holding it. So I wanted to show you exactly where it is. And Removing that screw will allow you to pull it just slightly up and go backwards and pull it over. So the same way you're gonna place the the same way you got it, you gotta apply the process to reverse. So once we already got the 128 gigabytes, as you can see, I already removed the screws and I already uh, removed. 128 so we're gonna install the new one which is uh, 512 gigabytes as you can see right here I'm placing it and once you push it all the way in and then you let it sit make sure it's aligned and it's properly sit then you'll be able to place the screw back so make sure to push it all the way in until that gap right there aligned with the screw hole as you can see right here. So this is the perfect moment when you can put the screw and sorry uh, to work with one hand I'm gonna have to take a moment to place the uh, screw together because there is not enough magnet in the screwdriver so I'm gonna have to take a moment to place the the screw right now and that's basically it is not uh, something complicated uh, you have to be very very careful um, when you uh, trying to tie it don't go over with the screw and, and, and pinch uh, anything else like in the system on the motherboard remember that you're working on a motherboard 
if you can use an electrostatic uh, brace, uh, bracelet uh, that would be ideal because you're working with the motherboard circuits and remember the body um, discharge uh, some voltage sometimes for the static so always when you're working with the uh, electronics make sure you wear your uh, anti-static uh, wrist bracelet once we finish the replacement we put that screw back so we're gonna proceed to put the black back plate back and also put the screws put the screw back like they're supposed to go you make sure it's aligned and put the screw backs and that will complete that and then i'm gonna show you how to do the software installation installation press the key combination and then connect to the wi-fi and wait until you see this screen and then you hold you press uh, this utility and this utility you want to see the hard drive you will be able to locate the hard drive and then you press you press erase erase to disk and you don't title you title it if you want if you don't just press erase and that complete the process and your disk will be ready to install so you hit reinstall the program and follow the steps and that's complete the software installation you will be taken to the agreement and then in the agreement you press okay and okay. the software has been completely and successful installed in my new 512 gigabytes hard drive i hope you like this video please if you if it was helpful for you please subscribe and let your thumbs up and then thank you for watching